Hi everyone, welcome to another session of BoatingTechTalk.com. We've got a question from a fellow boater uh, named Rick. Rick asks, hey Jeff, my question is, on minimally sunny days, should I run the generator charger to maximize full charge and then let solar maintain? Or should I let solar charge and run the generator charger to complete cycle to 100% in the afternoon? That's a great question. All right, it's complicated. It's not easy. Uh, it depends. So first of all, let's think about what are the advantages of either solution. One solution is to run a generator, which in turn would power a charger to actually recharge the batteries, right? Um, it works really well when the batteries are really depleted and your battery charger is at bulk. And ideally you maybe have more than one battery chargers or at least a very big one so that you're quickly recharging your battery bank. And that's really dependent, and Rick didn't tell us, but that's really dependent on having a really good size charger for your battery bank, right? And we know the rules, and I've got lots of videos on this, that you want at least 10% of charge rate as a function of your battery capacity. So, and you also know that there's a maximum theoretical acceptance charge, right? That's charge acceptance rate, car. And we want to make sure also that we're actually not taking too long to charge your batteries, right? There's a minimum, but there's also a maximum. So being fine somewhere in the middle is really going to maximize your ability to reduce your generator runtime. We've got videos about that. Again, do a search. You'll be able to find them. But here's the key, right? At the end of the day, running a generator to run a charger to recharge your batteries is extremely ineff inefficient and a waste of time and money when the generator is unloaded and your charger is running at very low current output, meaning you're in the tail end of acceptance charge or you're getting close to float. And when that happens, it doesn't make sense to run a generator to power a charger. So here's the beauty with solar, right? Solar gives us the ability to do one thing. There is no cost to solar, right? Even if the output is minimal, it's good. So. With solar, you can actually get to the top end and not have basically diminishing returns on your ability to recharge the battery bank all the way to the top. The question is, most for most of us voters, our solar array isn't sufficient enough to top us back to 100% every day. It's just a reality. It's not that we don't want to. Most of us, besides money, can't do it because we don't have enough physical space to mount enough solar panels to offset all our consumption on all weather days, right? Because some days there's a lot of sun and some other days there isn't. And some days there's a lot of sun in the summer, but not so much in the winter. So it all depends. So if you're lucky enough to have solar panels on your boat and to have a generator that can in turn power a battery charger to recharge your battery banks, generally what I would say is you probably want to find that sweet spot where you can run your generator in the morning or in the daytime, somewhere in the daytime, you know, after the early hours and run it for a period of time and not longer than that period of time. And here's the, here's, here's the hard part. Maybe you run it for an hour, maybe you run it for two hours. And by the time you finish that, the solar will have enough time for the rest of the afternoon or the rest of the day to get you back to hundred percent. So you basically want to do generator charger up to a point where solar can bring you to hundred percent. It's giving like that little boost, right, to your batteries so they get as close to what, and then the solar brings it all the way back. Because remember, when you're actually running your generator charger, most likely your solar is running too. So both are actually running concurrently. The trick is don't run your generator charger at the end because that's when you least want to do it because it's going to cost you way too much in wear and tear in your generator to run an unloaded, to run a charger that is partially outputting. So that was a great question, Rick, and thanks for asking. I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more of this cool content. And also check out our website. If you've got questions that are unanswered, we've actually taken the time to answer quite a few questions, and you might be surprised to find the answer right there on our website. So thanks again.